TK's Two Cents. You know what it is. You know what we're here to do. We are here to explore the different ways we can set our own selves free because self-liberation is the foundation for all other forms of liberation. And it makes no sense whatsoever to talk about how much freer we can make society if we are not winning the battle for freedom in our own lives. Freedom of the mind, freedom in our finances, freedom in our work, freedom in our relationships. And that's the kind of freedom that I'm interested in talking about. I'm not interested in any conversations about liberty without including life and the pursuit of happiness. So that's what I'm here for, y'all. Let's dive in with this first tweet. Sometimes you get the luxury of finding a ready-made solution. Sometimes you have to step up and create your own roadmap. The most rewarding possibilities often come with a responsibility to improvise. There are two fundamentally different approaches to acquiring knowledge and pursuing success. I call this the scientific approach versus the artistic approach. The scientific approach is when you approach the world as if the answers are already out there and you just have to discover them so you can figure out how to integrate those answers into your life. You don't make up electricity. That's not an idea you make up. Electricity already exists and you discover it and you figure out how to work in harmony with the principles of electricity. Fire isn't something that you make up. Fire exists in nature and it's something that you discover. It's something that you figure out. You, you, you come to understand the precise conditions under which fire can emerge and then you work with those principles. That's the scientific approach. And there are many things in life that we need to approach scientifically. If you're trying to get your finances together, for instance, and you don't know anything about how to create a budget, what should a budget contain? What is the purpose of a budget? Well, guess what? Those answers already been figured out for you. You don't need to make anything up. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just do a little science and study the things that have already been done and find out the way that works best for you. Many things in life benefit from the scientific approach. What's the work that has already been done? What are the conversations that have already been had? What are the answers that already exist? And how can you discover them so that you can bring your life into agreement with them and create improvements? But on the other side of improvement is improvisation. And that brings us to the second approach of pursuing knowledge and success. And that is the artistic approach. The artistic approach is when you make things up. How do you get a Jay-Z song? How do you get a John Legend song? How do you get any new song? It doesn't matter who the artist is. You got to make it up. You can't approach music with a purely scientific mindset of saying, hey, I'm going to go listen to all the other songs that have ever been composed, and then I'm going to just repeat what's already been had. No, it doesn't work like that. You've got to come up with something new. You've got to come up with an unprecedented rearrangement of melodies and harmonies or something along those lines. That's called improvisation. When you do more than just study the past and use what has been invented, but when you invent something yourself, you can't make art without that capacity for improvisation. And there are many things in life that work that way as well. So what's the point here? Many people, when they think about what I wanna do with my life, what am I gonna do with my career? How am I gonna solve this problem? They go around asking everybody for advice. They read a bunch of books. They listen to a bunch of podcasts and they don't find the answers they need. And then they say, well, there must not be an answer. Maybe, maybe there may not be an answer, but you know what? It might also be an opportunity for you to be the one to come up with the answer. Whatever you do in life, whatever you pursue in life, don't be afraid to contribute to the discussion by coming up with your own answers, by adding your own perspectives, by generating your own ideas. All answers are not to be discovered. Some have to be invented and you have that capacity. Why not? Why not? Let's move to tweet number two. All right, all right, all right. No matter what the problem is, the solution is the same. Get better. Get better at thinking. Get better at communicating. Get better at your craft. Get better at setting boundaries. Get better at building new habits and breaking old ones. It always comes down to your willingness to get better. 
Now, someone might say, well, TK, I don't like that because you're putting all the pressure on me. I mean, why can't my circumstances get better? Well, first of all, I can't talk to your circumstances for you, but I can talk to you. I can't control your circumstances and command your circumstances to be nice to you. I wish I could. If I had that power, I would do it. But the only thing that we can control is our own reaction and response to the circumstances in our lives. So we have to start with ourselves. That doesn't mean we have to pretend to like things the way they are. That doesn't mean we have to celebrate things the way they are, as if it's fantastic. We can be as mad as we want at all the things in our lives that we don't like. But at the end of the day, those things won't change in the way they affect us unless we are the ones who choose to change. Now, I had somebody respond to me and they said something interesting. They told me that when I talk about this kind of stuff, it's just a bunch of empty platitudes. And they said, not everybody can do the things that you do. You might, have, you, might, you might have some advantages that other people don't have. And not everybody can control what they feel and what they go through. So this kind of stuff, this kind of quote unquote philosophy, they did put it in quotes, I love when people do that. It's just empty because it can't be universally applied. It's a tool of the privileged, you might say. I think this is a commonly expressed concern and I think it presents us with a wonderful opportunity to make a very important distinction. There is a difference between preaching a philosophy of limitlessness and preaching a philosophy of agency. You do not have to have the ability to do anything in order to have the ability to do something. We cannot choose our feelings and circumstances at all times, but we can always, without exception, exercise some choice to decide how we're going to take the resources and abilities that God has given us to make the best of our situation. But TK, your situation might be different from somebody else's situation and they may not have the options as much as you have. And here's what I say to that. Never, ever, ever deny your own possibilities in life just because they are not equal to someone else's. It's not about being equal, it's about being optimal. I may never be as rich as Elon Musk. That is not a good reason for me to refuse to create a budget, for me to refuse to learn about investing. I may never be as physically fit as David Goggins. That is not a good reason for me to refuse to go to the gym. It's not about being better than other people. It's about being 1% better than my past self bit by bit every single day. So when you see problems going on in your life that you can't control, you don't have to be able to look at that problem and say, I can do anything about it. You just have to recognize that you can look at that problem and say, I can do something about it. You don't have to be all powerful in order to be somewhat powerful. And don't underestimate how far you can take things by being somewhat powerful. No matter what it is you're going through, you have an opportunity to use those battles and those difficulties and those challenges to help you participate in your own evolution. And when you get better, your experience get better because you can never have an experience without you and the quality of consciousness that you bring to it. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. If you enjoy the show, be sure to click that like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment. Let me know if there's anything you wanna hear me talk about in the future and share it with a family member or friend. Say, yo, check out this TK's two cents thing. It's hot, check it out. All right, y'all, peace.